Shalom. On this day, 486 years ago, the Vatican established the house of, and excuse me if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly, Kaddishums. The purpose of this house was solely to convert Jews. Those sent there were subjected to 40 days of intense instruction. It, if after that time, the Jews still refused to convert, he was allowed to return his home. Although over 2,500 Jews unfortunately converted to, to Christianity, thankfully, many, many Jews were sent home after the 40 days who refused to convert and sufficiently clung to their faith and refused to convert. In this Dvar Torah, I'd like to look at that trait of stubbornness that these Jews, who after 40 days of this intense, we'll call it instruction, still clung to their faith. I'd like to examine whether being obstinate is a positive character trait or really a flaw. To determine if stubbornness is positive or negative, we're going to first have to define it. To help us in analyzing the role of stu stubbornness, I'll look to our sedra, where our nation is called, by none other than God himself, a stiff-necked people. That means a stubborn people. My goal in this, in this Tavar Torah is to leave you, the reader or the viewer, with a balanced approach to one's life, to one of life's greatest challenge, listening to other people. Stubbornness is, is one sticking to one's principles. One is, really, it's, it's subjective though if we think about it. Stubbornness is truly, to one person it's sticking to one's principles, and to another it's being obstinate. One is despicable, the other admirable. The difference is decided by where one stands when they're listening to a person's point of view. Depending on the set, on the on the excuse me, depending depending on the setting, tenacity can be appropriate, while at other times it is just simply plain stubbornness. As all character traits, stubbornness is neither good nor bad. Rather, it is how one applies this trait and one is and how one is perceived by others when acting in this fashion. In the negative, stubbornness is refusing to listen to criticism. When offered and received properly, constructive criticism is the primary tool to improvement. Development is dependent on first knowing problems and issues that one has to correct. Problems are generally obscured from the people that, that deal with them and have them. To recognize issues is sometimes requires someone else to point them out. Anyone seriously interested in growing as a person needs constructive criticism and recognizes its benefits. While openness to others' ideas and criticisms is, is important, it's important to have a set value system that isn't temporal or shifts according to the current. Values can't change. They must remain constant. Each generation seems to want to remake morals and values, thinking that modern thinking can add to where antique thought couldn't. Anyone attached to a traditional way values is considered ancient and unmoving. They are given the moniker stubborn, and in truth, it is sticking to one's guns that is admirable. In our sedra, Hashem calls our people stiff-necked. Hashem did not intend it to be a compliment as he was describing B'nai Yisrael's refusal to listen to Moshe's reprimands. It was the refusal to listen to God that earned them the mark of being stubborn. Yet, it is the same trait of stubbornness that gave B'nai Yisrael the courage to keep to their faith under the threat of persecution. It is this trait of being stiff-necked that simultaneously showed B'nai Yisrael's flaws and, over the years, their perfection. As always, balance must be found. When it comes to one's values, one must stick to their value system and not give an inch. When it comes to events outside our value system, we need to be open to other ideas and find places where we can improve. When it comes to our beliefs, we need to channel our tradition of being stiff-necked and stick to the values we have always treasured. We're blessed as a people with this trait that allows us to cling to our faith irrespective of persecution. But we need to temper it with a desire to grow. To, stick to, to, to strain our necks to listen to others' advice. Stubbornness can both be a compliment and an area that we need to improve on. It all depends where one is sticking to their ideas and where one is open to further growth. Shabbat Shalom.